Hi guys, how are you all? Here I've come up with an international math Olympiad question. Uh, recently I had posted a video on uh, the results of IMO 2024 where USA grabbed the first position with five golds and one silver and on the second was China with five golds and one silver and on third was Korea with two golds and four silver and at number four we had India with four golds and one silver and at number five we had Belarus with four golds and two bronze so it was <clears throat> really an interesting uh, this time very interesting this time so here I have a uh, similar question of math Olympiad which says a cube plus a square equals 36 now this is a cubic equation as you can see and how are we gonna solve that that's the question so here we have a is a variable here a as a variable and 36 is a constant now how would we solve a cubic equation usually what we do is we bring all the terms to the left hand side is that right yes so we're gonna do the same thing here so here I have 36 on the right hand side. I'm going to subtract 36 here as well as here. So what I'm going to get after subtracting is here I have a cube plus a squared minus 36 is equal to and here it gets crossed out. So that's equal to 0. So I have finally all the terms on left hand side. That's a cube plus a square minus 36 equals to 0. Now, how are we going to find the factors? This is a cubic equation. That means you have three solutions, right? Three solutions to that. Three roots. Solutions in terms of mathematics, can you can say it as roots. So you have three roots or three solutions. Now, are they real roots or complex roots? You don't know right you need to find it out so for that here we're going to use trial and error method so what is a trial and error method that means you're going to put some values in place of the variable a and try that this equation comes out to be true so here if i put a equals zero or one or two or three whatever you like you can just keep on trying it out that's called trial and error now here I'm going to try a is equal to 3. So what happens when I try when a is equal to 3? So if I put a 3 in place of a, I get 3 cube plus then I have 3 squared minus I have 36 is equal to 0. So here 3 cube, 3 times 3 times 3, that's 27 plus 3 times 3 is 9 minus 36 is equal to 0. Is this equation true now? 27 plus 9 is 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. So yes, that's true. So we have one factor which is a is equal to 3. So I'm going to write it as when you bring 3 this side or subtract 3 on both sides, what do you get? a minus 3, right? a minus 3 is equal to 0. So that's your factor. a minus 3. And I have something multiplied to that that's dash 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 but I don't know that what's that so I need to find out what's here so to find out you can use a long division method or you can use identities to solve it so here I'm gonna try using long division method how are we gonna do using long division method let's see I have this factor a minus 3 right so I'm going to divide this a cube plus a square is equal to 36 by a minus 3. So I'm going to get what is there in the brackets, right? So let's see. a minus 3. So what will be my quotient? That's, oh, sorry, my dividend a cube plus a square. a square minus 36 all right 
Okay, just let me just get back. I'll try that again. I have a minus 3. And what is getting divided is a cube plus a square minus 36. Right? So whatever is my quotient is what I have to write it here. Now, how are we going to divide using long division? It's like the same division process what you follow. Standard process. Here you have a cube and here you have a. So I need to multiply something with this a to get a cube. So what's that? So if I multiply by a squared, a squared times a will give me a cube. Yes, that's right. So here, a square times a, I'm going to get a cube. Now, next, don't forget, you have to multiply these two, negative 3 and a square as well. So when we multiply negative 3 times a square, I get negative 3 a squared. Done. Anything else left to multiply? No. So now I'm going to subtract these two. Change the signs, minus and here plus. Plus a cube minus a cube gets cancelled. Now here we have plus a square plus 3a squared. So I'll get plus 4a squared. Done. Till here is easy. <coughs> Next step is you bring down this constant negative 36. Is that right? Yes, that's easy. Now, uh, next step is again more easy, I'll tell you. Here you have 4a squared. Now you need to get 4a squared. So what are you going to multiply with this a to get 4a squared? So that's just plus 4a. 4a times a will give you plus 4a squared. Next step done. Again, I told you don't forget whatever are the terms here has to be multiplied with the quotient you have taken. 4a times negative 3 as well. So you get negative 4 times 3 is 12 and a. Done. Subtract both sides. Okay, change the signs. So here 4a square minus 4a square gets cancelled. Here you have negative 36 plus 12a. Stop. Now you have to check. Here you cannot add or subtract these two terms. Why? Because here you have a variable. And here you don't have a variable. This is just a constant. Here you cannot add or subtract two different terms. Only you can add or subtract the like terms. Like if you have a variable term A here, you can add or subtract that term. Constants can be added to constants, subtracted with constants, all right? But these two cannot be added or subtracted. So we'll write it as it is. That's plus 12a minus 36. Done? Sorry. So here we have plus 12a. Now what has to be multiplied with this a to get plus 12a? Simple, plus 12 plus 12 times a I get plus 12 a and don't forget 12 times negative 3 so that will be negative 36 now how will you subtract change the signs all right 12 a minus 12 a can cross out 30 minus 36 plus 36 so your remainder is 0 you have finally got your quotient a square plus 4a plus 12, that comes in this dot, 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 dot. Easy. <coughs> okay. So here, I'm just going to write this down. You have got the first factor, which you already got was a minus 3. Then what's your quotient? a square plus 4a plus 12. So I'm going to write that. 
a square plus 4a plus 12. That's what was multiplied to this factor. But still your answer is not over. You still have to solve this quadratic equation. Whenever you have the power of 2, you call this equation as quadratic. When you have the power of 3, you call this equation as cubic. Now you have to solve this quadratic equation. Now to solve this quadratic equation, we can use quadratic formula. Is that right? But before that, I want to know that whether my solutions are real or complex. Are there, are, um, am I going to have a real solution or not? Right? That will be easy for me to solve then. So how do I uh, solve for the solutions? I'm going to find, see, this equation is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Is that right? All right. So here I'm going to find discriminant. The symbol for discriminant is this, delta. Discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now, if I'm going to solve for this discriminant, I will find out if the roots are real or not. So if my discriminant is equal to 0, I will have 1 real root. Root can also be called as solution. That means you will have one real solution. Now for cubic equation, you should have three solutions, right? One solution you've already got. You need to have more two solutions. Because of this quadratic equation, we'll have two solutions. So two plus one, three solutions in total. So if your discriminant is zero, you'll have one real root. If your discriminant is greater than zero, you'll have two real solutions or two real roots. If your discriminant is less than zero, you will have two complex or imaginary roots or imaginary solutions. Done? Imaginary roots. So let's see b square so as i have written b x so this is your b four so i'm going to write it here my discriminant is equal to b square that's four squared which is 16 minus four times a a is what here from this equation it's one and c c is 12. So let's solve for this. 16 minus 4 times 12 is 48, which is equal to negative 32. Negative means it's less than 0. So here I have my discriminant less than 0. So discriminant which is less than 0 will have two imaginary solutions, two complex roots so i've understood that i have one solution a is equal to three and two complex roots two complex roots means which involves imaginary numbers got it okay let's solve for our imaginary roots so here what was our equation equation was something like this a minus three times a square plus 4a plus 12. We found that discriminant is negative 32. So let's write down our quadratic formula. That's equal to negative b plus or minus under the root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Easy, right? Negative b. Now this is in terms of a x square plus b x plus c. So your b is 4, so I'll have negative 4 plus or minus under the root of, this is what discriminant 
which I've found here, b square minus 4ac, that's negative 32. So I'm going to write it down, negative 32 over 2 times a is 1. The coefficient of a is 1. Now, uh, let me simplify. What's uh, negative, uh, what's the root of 32? To find out root 32, what we are going to do is 32, I'll just take out the LCM, like 2 times 16, then 2 times 8, 2 times 4, 2 times 2, and 2 times 1, that's it. So 32 is 2 squared times 2 squared times 2, is that right? 2 squared, 2 squared times 2. So here, if I want to take the root of 32, that will be 2 times 2, that's 4. Under the root, I'll have 2. Is that right? Okay, let me put it down. That's negative 4, plus or minus, I have 4. Under the root of, this was negative, so I'll have negative 2 over 2. Now let me divide by 2, right? 2 times 2. 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, so I'll get negative 2 plus or minus 2 root of negative 2, alright, because I've divided by 2. Now the thing is, I have negative sign under the root. To remove that negative sign, I should know that i square i is an imaginary number i square is equal to negative one all right so i'm going to put i square in place of negative one so minus two plus or minus two under root of two i squared square and root gets cancelled so for that i have negative two plus or minus two root two i so i have two solutions here what are the two solutions i've got two complex solutions that's negative 2 plus 2 root 2i and another one is negative 2 minus 2 root 2i. One solution, another solution and another factor was a minus 3. So I hope you understood this problem. We've got two <coughs> complex solutions and a total of three solutions for this cubic equation if you have any suggestions or you have any questions you want me to solve something or you, mo you want me to come up with some other thing you're most welcome i love to read your comments and give me some uh, advices on some questions which you want or you want to learn something new i'll be waiting for that Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Have fun. Take care.